Hi everyone, Lensman Oz here. Welcome to episode 15 of my Modular Mayhem Let's Play series. Today I want to work on AE. I want to get um, the bits and pieces I need to get AE running. and I want to set it up, the main brains of it, up in the floor under here. So I'm going to need to dig out under here um, to make some space. Give myself a bit of a basement. Um, to do that, uh, I'm probably going to need. I think I'm going to need to upgrade these to a a better tool. Go from the, the silence gems. But you're loud. You can see something I made in between episodes is this phaser rifle. I was just sort of mucking around a bit, and um, this is from Matter Overdrive. So, what's a fucking spell? Phaser rifle is some of the stuff that I've used in the previous uh, Matter Overdrive to make the teleporter. Uh, so, you've got a, a battery, which is very simple to lithium and gold and redstone, a bit of titanium. One of these force field emitters, which these things are all pretty easy. And then you've got this uh, superconductor magnet, which again, very simple recipes. Uh, and the circuit through the imprinter thing inside. That gets you the phaser rifle. Now, a phaser rifle requires charging. So, I made a flux pad, a hardened one, which will allow me to. So, to make the hardened one, there's the Invar and Electrum and a basic flux pad. Flux pad, which is, again, a very simple recipe tin, co uh, copper and pressure plate and stuff and you can just stand on this and then your inventory will ch charge up. While I was trying to find something to charge it because I, I mistakenly thought that I could charge everything with this but I'm pretty sure it, it's only magnetic craft stuff I can charge with that. I haven't been able to get anything RF based so uh, yeah I mistakenly thought I could charge it with that and I made this little doobie here which is an induction charger. The idea with that is you just place by right cl clicking uh, whatever you want to charge on top and it'll charge up. So that's just connected via, I think, oh, I've got a Galacticraft cable running under the floor here. As you can see here, it didn't connect here, but it's connected. You see the little green arrows there? Connects the thing underneath. And I just ran a cable, so I've got this flux pad here. And uh, it works quite well. So when I, when I get to, probably, maybe the next episode, I'll, I'll get uh, some better armor. Probably some RF powered armor, and hopefully we'll get flight and that sort of stuff. But this is pretty nifty. This this rifle, it's got a fairly good range, and you can do upgrades to it. And you can see here its range is 32 blocks. Uh, it does damage of eight, so it's it's not too bad. Uh, the the upgrades it's themselves, I've I've put a battery in it uh, to make it so that. It can handle more power. So you've got some other upgrades here. You've got uh, where are they? These things here. Each of these little upgrades. That this one here does 150 damage, but less ammo and less effect. Whatever the effect is. Um, probably these things. So you got fire damage. You've got explosion damage, and this one here apparently heals you. So yeah, there's a there's a few things you can upgrade on it. I've just got it as a basic one and I've just put one of these high capacity batteries in it. And to put the battery in it, you've got this little weapon station thing here. And the weapon station is this here. Takes a battery and one of those force field emitters, machine casing, etc. And when you place the the weapon in there, you've got all these different areas where you can put your upgrades. So as you can see here, I've only put the battery in. I'm going to explore a bit more of what I can and can't put in here uh, because I'm really not 100% not sure what I can do or whether the mod actually has it all fully developed yet. But something to look at in, in the future. So I just instead of carrying around a bow, and, a bow and arrow, I thought I'd have a rifle. So, yeah. Um, right, one of the other things I've done is the... The miner was having a bit of an issue in. Remember, I said in the previous episode about um, 
placing down well-timed lightning thunder, uh, placing down the the tesseract and then the pipe. Well, I think it's because I don't, I haven't got the area over there chunk loaded by an actual chunk loader, or perhaps it's I don't know. I didn't check the chunks when I placed it down. Um, the connection at the other end where the miner is broke, and it pretty much you know it stopped working. So what I've done. You might have seen them in my inventory. My inventory is I made a transfer node. And I just plopped a chest here. So it's just dumping straight into the chest. And then I put the transfer node with a stack upgrade and 63 speed upgrades. I probably didn't need to do that many, but I just yeah, made a bunch. And you can see it's not even showing in the chest. It's going in and back out that quickly. So if I take these out, you'll see it shows up. Um, it's probably it's probably still fast enough without the speed upgrades. Stack upgrade definitely helps, but you know I'm just being a bit overkill. So that's running quite nicely. It's done 11% of this area, and um, yeah, we're getting lots of materials. So onto the task at hand. I have started creating uh, some of the bits and pieces I'm going to require. You can see I've got some fluids here. Because what I what I want to do is I don't want to use it's going to be a bit silly. Um, for me, A gets a bit grindy, um, and with A2 stuff installed, that makes some of the stuff like growing pure crystals and that so much easier. So to do that, you need to make their crystal growth chamber, for which you need six of the applied energy six ones. So I was going to make this up and use it to make my pure crystals. Uh, I think I need the pure crystals for the advanced inscribers. I'm not 100% not sure whether I'm going to do this yet. I'll probably make one and see how, how it is. But for that, obviously, I need to make an inscriber too. So, so for these, I'm going to need some quartz glass and some iron and some glass cables. So I made some glass cables. I think I ground up some quartz. Oh, no, I must have used it all. Let's have a look here. Got an absolute ton here of Certus quartz. I'm just going to throw this in the grinder so I can use it for the uh, the quartz glass. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need 12 quartz glass. So let's start getting this. I'll grab some iron. You can see I've also upgraded some of my barrels and moved a few things around. Um, trying to get through the backlog here of dusts and stuff. But I've found it's not worth uh, perhaps smelting the thorium or the boron or any of that stuff into ingots because, quite honestly, I think when I go to use that, it's going to need to be through this little separator. So I've, I got rid of the, the ingots. I had a uranium. I threw them in there because you can grind them up as well. And then I've just been keeping the, the uranium dust as my source to put in here. Um, it did back back stuff a little bit, so I've added the four doors so I can actually access everything. Um, and you know when it when it stops working. Right, so enough chin wagon. So I want to do six of these. So let's just take it down to that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've got the six Flux blocks. And if, if you know AE, you'll know Flux crystals, redstone, charge certus, and nether quartz in a pool of water. So I just made a few of them. And the blocks are just four, four Flux crystals in a square. So I'm going to need some glass. Let's grab a stack. I don't have heaps, but we're getting there. Grab some of this. And we will make like so. That gets us four. So what do we need? need Twelve. I don't have enough 
fluid dust on me yet. I need another four. I wonder if it's finished. Because I've pulled the upgrades out of here, it's it's running a bit slower than it than it needs to. But um, I guess I still need, I still need one more. Go back for one more. Run. Thank God. So this should get us the glass we require, and we can make the six of these that we need. Next thing we need is a chest, another cable and a hopper. Cable, I think I've got some chests in here somewhere. Chest, I have a hopper. Otherwise I'll make one, I've got some iron. Right. Another chest. Chest there. And like so. And that gets this crystal growth chamber. Now I wanna let's see. Oops. Nom nom. I want to put this down in here. So I kinda wanna it's not ideal. I'm just gonna plop him there for the moment. I will, I will move him later, I think. Just for the moment to get some some power into here while I am getting stuff done. Hopefully that'll do it. So next up, I'm going to need to make an, an, a normal inscriber. So I'm going to need two sticky pistons and a flux crystal. So let's just make really quickly... Let's make some more fluid. That's, that's nine, ten, and then I need ten redstone. Ten of each. Just been using my lake out here. So, uh, you, you, and you. There we go. Some more flukes. And I might turn some of this. Uh, that one's sand. I might turn. That's. Oh, it's got to be dust, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, it's got to be. Let's check. Yes, it's got to be the dust. So. Let's grab ten of them. And then I'm gonna throw them in, and we might just uh, pull that out for the moment. Take our upgrades back. So this should now use the power to grow this quicker. And let me guess, it's not using the power. All right, I'm going to need an energy acceptor. One of these requires flux, four quartz glass, four iron. Um, like that. One of them in the middle. So now we can put the energy acceptor down instead. And move. I'm really not ready today, am I? Okay. Move this. It's not there for now. Hello. <laughs> uh, now Iskandar says go from high level to low level and it'll connect fine. There you go, look at that. Nice and quick actually, really quick. So I'm not sure what sort of drain we've got there. It's Yeah. It's filling up, I guess. It's kinda of keeping up. Anyway. So there, that that's 
instead of waiting and, or building those ones and bring them around a pool, that's one block. Nice and tidy. Let's make some fluix now. Same deal. Get 20 of these. And then... Whoop, click on the right thing. So now we've got 20 pure service courts. And that will quickly make these ones up too, so you 30% already. So let's change our mod listing to Applied Energistics. And we want to build the inscriber, so as I said before, two pistons. So let's go and grab some stuff. Some of that. Uh, some of I'll grab some more iron. So I'm doing alright with iron. I've got 309 blocks. And there's 512 there. And I think there's some more around here somewhere. As I said, we're uh, getting a lot. So, two pistons. And I forgot redstone. Well done. And then the sticky pistons. So, for them, for them, for them. I think it was that, wasn't it? And then, one of them? Yes. That gets me an inscriber. That, and then if I grab these um, patterns out of here and wherever they were. Silicon, logic, calculation, engineering. So it's going to be a little silly. I was going to grab a, a draw. That's alright, I'll just throw a chest in there. I'm going to place this over here for the moment. Just so I can pick up power off this energy acceptor. And then... Let's look, what do we need? We need... I'm going to go straight for a controller. So I'm going to need some skystone blocks, which is just smelted skystone. And I'm going to need engineering processes. So I'm going to need some silicon. I might just sleep quickly. I'm going to need some silicon and a diamond and some redstone. Now I've got some silicon here. Now I'm not sure if I can use a Galacticraft silicon, so I'm going to try it. And I need some of these. And that's going over here somewhere. So, one of you yeah, I've got 130 diamonds now. I think I'm doing alright. Four sky stone block. Really? Full inventory. Excellent. Um, you. Right. So, using the processes we got, uh, the presses that we have, I'm just going to throw silicon. So, that's alright. That's fairly quick. Like that. And then I want engineering one, which is the engineering press and a diamond. I'll take that out and we put ah you 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 this gives us a circuit. So the processor, yep. So now we need to make Controller, and this needs pure fluix and skystone. So my pure fluix is done. I brought it over here twice now. Actually, you know what I'm going to grab? I moved it when I upgraded my storage, but let's grab this. Oh, typical, into the hopper. <laughs> let's grab this 
Just going to put him at a loop. It's looking. Not you. That one. Like that. And that gets him near where I need him and out of the way. Right, so. Processor. Four of them. Four of them. ME controller. Uh, next we'll want an ME drive. <laughs> so I'm going to need more processors. And then I'm going to want to start making storage and screens and import buses. All sorts of stuff. Fun. And I might need to set up a charger too actually. Um, yeah, I'll use the pure ones. Why not? Get a charger going. Um, at least that way we can convert. We've only got the 24 charged. I can convert some of this. So, as I said previously, my plan is actually kind of to really noisy. Uh, kind of to find the center of this room and have. The controller right in the middle, um, and then maybe have a big square or something. I'm not really decided how I want to set it up, but it'll definitely go in here, and then everything will be downstairs here. I need to dig all this out. So, hmm, what I might do. A few more minutes left of this episode, so what I might do is we'll just get to crafting the bits we're going to need for the AE system and set it up fully in the next one. I need another couple of ones of them. Ah! Always away. I'm really going to stop using that pick. What a mess. Let's get rid of some of this stuff so I can. You up. Okay. <laughs> well, that could have been uh, messy if I had a bit more. Could have been blocks everywhere. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna need a couple of gold. I'm gonna need a couple of diamonds. I'm gonna need a couple of the pure ones too. So to make an Emmy drive. Let's get those. I didn't try that other silicon, did I? Let's go and see. Because I seem to. It's a bit easier to find that one, so. Oh, gee. I think it's that one. I'll have to get used to. I will eventually have one of, one of each. Can I put that in there? No. Really? Uh, it only seems to be able to use in its circuit fabricator. That's a bummer. Anyway, you can only put one thing in at a time, which is a bit of a pain. Um, again, you can automate it. And we can put speed upgrades, and we can do all sorts of stuff. So, a few of them. Um, one's engineering. Next one we need. So what I might do is I'll, I'll, I'll grab these ingredients that I need to make these last couple of things, and I'll be right back. And I'm back, and I've done a bunch of crafting, and it's not the final release, so to speak, but I set this up. I went and crafted another flux generator, and whacked it underneath here, uh, under the the generator, and I've hooked up a, an MV wire connector at the moment to an energy acceptor and I've just run some basic glass fiber cable around here I've made an energy cell uh, let's look here so now you can see some of these things are, d are darkened out I got a little bit tired of seeing all the micro blocks in here and I think I think you just right click on it and it does it um, just hang on one sec And I'm back, sorry about that, just had to uh, 
answer my phone. Right, um, so yes, uh, got the energy cell in here. I placed the ME controller in the ground, so uh, energy cell. Oh, so what was I talking about? I was talking about microblocks. Uh, so this one here, so if I left click it, it'll show them all, it'll show them all in the, um, in your NEI thing here. If you right click on it, it will get rid of them out of this list. So I've I've gotten rid of the microblocks here, and I've also gotten rid of the Plot Engistics 2 facades. Um, so they just don't show up in this list. If, if that's turned on, you get all the facades in here, and you, you got pages and pages after that. With it off, it's only back to the two pages that it, um, you know, a lot easier to find stuff in. So, yeah, anyway. So I've made just a basic energy cell, which is pretty simple. Fluke stars, charge, certus, and a bit of quartz glass. And I've just hooked that up. I eventually am going to run a line that way, probably along, along over there. Uh, to enable me to put a storage bus on the bottom of that system over there and probably have another crafting terminal. Oh, it'll probably be the main terminal over there. For the moment, I'm going to set it up here. And I've got a terminal in here somewhere. There it is. So I'm going to whack that on there. And I made a 4K drive. Just a single 4K, just for the moment. I will make more. Um, so 4Ks quartz glass and some iron, redstone, um, three of these storage components, calculation processor, logic processor, right, very simple, straightforward, if you've used Applied NG64, this is all, all old to you, old, old hat, um, I did make the inscriber into an advanced, advanced inscriber, cool thing with it is that you can put stacks of items in. So and it's only got one redstone in it, but I can put those two in and it will create whatever you've got the stacks in for. And it looks like you can um, lock certain spots. So as it says, it can't be removed with auto automation. And yeah, so that'll sit there. If I throw another redstone in, it'll make that processor. Very, very handy. Um, and honestly, it's, it's not that much more expensive. So as I showed before, the advanced describes just a couple of hoppers, a couple of processors. It's not too bad. So I may end up using these. Um, maybe, I don't know. Maybe for the automation, maybe not. I think you can add a couple of extra upgrades here. But, you know, as it is, it should do the trick. Now, can I put that there? No, I'd have to rotate that. Yeah, so that's got power now. No. That'll live. Um, yeah, so that, as I said, this is just temporary. This is just throwing some stuff together to uh, get it out of the way sort of thing. Get underway. So, yeah, you can throw anything in. It's in there now. Cool. So we've got basic AE system done. We've got the crystal growth chamber here so we can still make your, your pure fluix or pure, you know, your, your pure gems, your pure fluix, certus and nether crystals. We've got the advanced subscriber to be able to make all our um, processes. And I've got very, very basic, hooked up, ready to go, powered, ready for me to dump heaps and heaps of stuff into it. Um, as I said, what I might do in between episodes is I'll run that cable, I'll make a whole bunch more, and I'll run this cable all the way over there, and onto the bottom of, or onto one of the sides of that um, controller. Because if you place a storage bus onto this controller, uh, it will show everything in these, in these barrels, or in these drawers, in the AE system. So, as I said, what, I, what I'll do is, I'm thinking I might, I might maybe move one of these or put the, so put the, the terminal here, which would be pretty cool, I think, in the middle. So maybe I'll, I'll take this one and move it and um, bring the cable over here. 
put the crafting terminal in the in the wall here put the storage bus on the top of the drawer controller and um, that'll be our main crafting area I think I will um, I'll eventually need the patent terminal and all that I'll just put them in the floor somewhere but for now we'll call that the end of this episode um, hope you've enjoyed what I've done hope you I don't know helps you out please leave your comments likes dislikes click that like button if you like the episode um, subscribe you know yeah you'll get notified of everything when it comes out and uh yeah all right hope to catch you all in the next one thanks a lot